577-473, so, Sobzik Osborne, Council, your appearances and your bar numbers. Good afternoon, Your Honor, Patricia Mar, bar number 8846, appearing on behalf of Christina Sobchak, the plaintiff who's present, she's standing to my right. Also present at the table is Nancy Fernandez from Safe Nest. Safe Nest, not Safe House, no, Safe, Safe Nest. Nest. Thank you, okay. Thank you, Mr. Jax? Good afternoon, Your Honor, David Jax, bar number 12409, for uh, Aaron Osborne, who's present. Over there, yes. directly to my left is Jamie Van Osdell. Um, and then to the far left is my other uh, law clerk, Leah Wells. Okay, very good. Thank you. May be seated. Any procedure amounts for because we began with, I think it's day three of trial, correct? Correct. Should be three. Okay. Um, yeah, three. So you, um, you were talking earlier, you want Kelly Campbell to finish up? Yes, sure. Her testimony? So we had Kelly Campbell, and then we, day two, we had to get in um, Officer Fuentes. We started with Nick Ponzo, so we're in the middle of his cross, but we are now going to start the cross exam of Kelly Campbell. Well, um, Your Honor, I hadn't finished my direct. We were still on my direct. Oh, of Kelly? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Day two of trial, July 22, 209. Oh, it's day three, day three of trial. Okay, we have Miss Campbell here again. Let's have her sworn in, please. It's a new day. You just saw me swear to tell somebody about the people's actions. You give the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Please state your full name for the record and spell your last name. Campbell. Kelly M. Campbell. Last name spelled C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. -L. Maybe C. Thank you. All uh, right. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Marr, resume your direct thank exam. Thank you. May I remain seated, John? You may remain seated. That's thank fine. You. And you lawyers are free to move about the well thank if you, you wish. So, okay. Okay, Ms. Campbell, yes. refresh your memory. Um, there are two notebooks in, yes. in front of you to your Thank right. You. Yes. And um, are you able to lift those? I know you have, um, do you have a back injury or? Yeah, I'm okay. I can lift them. Okay. All right. It would be in the first book. Okay. And we can turn to page number at the bottom, the bait stamp, 238. Actually, 237. Do you recall this document? Let me find it. Okay. It would be Exhibit 49. Ah. 237? Correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. And I just confirmed with the court that this, this, um, these page numbers, specifically page numbers, 236 to 238 have already been admitted. Have they been admitted, Ms. Clark? Um, Yes? Yes, you are. Yes, they're admitted. Thank you, okay. Nita. Okay. And um, Ms. Campbell, uh, what visit was this with Charlotte? Was this the first visit, the second visit? I believe this was the second, possibly the third visit. I'm going to 
digress. Uh, when were you initially contacted by uh, the plaintiff uh, to seeking a counselor or therapy for Charlotte, if you, re if you recall? The specific date, I would have to look at the initial assessment, which I think we discussed last time. Um, the initial intake was done. I, I don't need an approximate date. Maybe if you could just provide me with the month and the year. August, maybe, uh, maybe July to August of 2018. Of 2018, okay. And what did, um, what were the plaintiff's concerns? I mean, why, why, did she tell you why she was coming to you? Yes. Okay, why? Her daughter was displaying some unusual, inappropriate sexualized behaviors. Okay. Um, and did you ask her what those were at that time? Yes, I asked her to give me the full history. Okay, was that over the phone or was that in the office? That was in the office. In the office, yes. okay. But initially when she contacted you, can you tell me the substance of the conversation between you and the plaintiff? Objection. I'm hearsay. Or it would be from hearsay. Who are you talking about? Conversation between whom? Plaintiff. Plaintiff and Kelly Gamble? How do you sustain it? Um, what were what were the plaintiff's concerns? That her daughter was having nightmares, wetting the bed, um, doing things like touching her vagina in front of a mirror, sticking her butt out naked, discussing things like naked hugs, um, I hate my dad, those kinds of things, and Christina wanted to make sure her daughter was safe. Okay. All right. Did, um, Based upon your conversation with the plaintiff, um, you strike that. Okay, so you had the initial assessment, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and when was that initial assessment? As I said, it was uh, either late uh, July or early August of 2018. Okay. All right. And the reason I'm asking is because um, the bait stamp uh, that we were just discussing 236 to 238 has a reference a date of September 20th, 2018. Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. So, were the plaintiff's concerns an, were those concerns of the plaintiff um, later in time or Objection leading. Concerns. Yes, sustained. Okay. When did you have the very first conversation with the plaintiff regarding an appointment? As I said, late July, early August of 2018. Okay. Um, if you recall, had the plaintiff um, sought therapy um, prior to that? Objection date? leading sustained. Do you know if the plaintiff had sought Objection therapy? meeting. Let finish. her finish the question first. Do you know if the plaintiff sought therapy for the child prior to coming to you? She did not. Uh, did you object to that yes, one? Yes, Your Honor. Um, overruled. Just, so the answer was either a no or a yes. And then the next question should not be leading. So the answer was yes, the plaintiff sought therapy? No. I was the first person that she contacted. Sure, if I follow. Okay. Um, did that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, court's indulgence. So, if I could have you turn to page bait stamp. Two thirty-nine through two forty-three. Can you tell me what those documents are? Objection. What's your objection? Um, they're here, full of hearsay. Yeah. 
Uh, they haven't moved into evidence yet. Just asking the witness if she can identify. So, okay. so um, we're, drawn. we're drawn. So can she identify them? I'm sorry, repeat the question. Uh, Bait stamps 239 to 243. Can you tell me what those documents are? These are email exchanges between Christina and myself, including videos of Charlotte Skyping with her father. And then there is an email that Christina forwarded to me from Erin um, telling her that she was Objection. Sustain a standing hearsay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are documents that, um, did, did you rely uh, on these documents in some way, shape, or form? Look, they, yes, absolutely. Okay. Your Honor, I would move to admit. Objection, hearsay. She used oh, it in her. 239 to 243 emails between her and mom. So she's the author and mom is the author, right? Correct. So they can be cross examined about that. There is an email that mom forwarded from dad to her. Is there. Um, other than hearsay, I would overrule it. I mean, hearsay overruled, but any other objection, basis for the objection? Um, I think about the email that she forwarded to Dad, from Dad to her. 242. 242 was originally admitted in the past. Um, so we already know it 242. It was not admitted in the past. 242 was not admitted. Oh, it was offered and objected. I'm sorry. Oh, it was offered, objected, and what? No ruling? I said it was. Or we were going to wait. Okay, so I know it was disregard what I said. If there are emails between mom and Ms. Campbell, they're here in the courtroom subject to cross examination. So overruled on hearsay. Okay. Um, if it's an email that mom forwarded to her from dad, dad's here in the courtroom. He can be cross examined about that later. Um, I'm going to let 239, 243 in. We did only portions, so in the middle she got objection. On those ones, but that's not that not that number. Yes, so you just want to write here two forty nine two thirty nine to two forty three and write um, offered, objected, and admitted. Yeah, no. He was saying that two forty two wasn't admitted. Oh, I apologize. Are my clerk's telling me that um, at the hearing on June 24th, the trial day, there was an objection to 242. And what is 242? Is that the forwarded email? 242? What is Bates 242? 242 is an email that Kelly Campbell sent to uh, the plaintiff. Well, look at the plaintiff's local family. Only reason I bring this up is because two forty two was denied previously. It was objected to and denied. Depends on who offered it though. Probably next morning, right? Yes. You offered 242. Yeah, it was oh, it does have a sticker? So 42 was admitted? Yep. So this was inaccurate. No. That's what I told you. See, it says offered, objected, but then here. Oh, the admitted column. But he said, All right. attorney, what's Jack said it was admitted. Admit, okay, it, it was admitted. Admit. We have a yellow sticker on yes. there. Okay, according to see, my clerk keeps track of this stuff. 42 was already in. 242. Okay. So now we're admitting 239, 240, 241, and 243. Thank you, Anna. Okay, moving on. Okay, Ms. C uh, Campbell, can you um, bait stamp 242? You 
responded to um, the plaintiff's query. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and what did you tell her? I told her that um, she was doing everything right. She was trying to get Charlotte to engage in the conversation and that she was trying to help Charlotte, but Charlotte kept kicking the table and trying to turn the computer off and I was just letting her know, I saw the video, you did everything in your best power to allow the child to have a conversation with her father, but she wasn't having it. Okay. How would you no. describe the child's behavior? Angry, uh, aggressive, anxious, worried, scared, fearful. Okay. And did, um, why did um, the plaintiff, if you know, why did she send you, even bother sending you that email? She wanted me to see Charlotte's response to these Skype uh, calls because we had discussed it in session, but I had never seen it. So she wanted to show me the video and allow me to watch it so I could see Charlotte's response. Okay. okay. And then on page 243, there's another email from Mon to you. Um, why are these, in, I don't understand, why are these even included with your, um, with your reports? Why bother? Because it's relevant. Okay, why? Because the child was traumatized and it's relevant. Okay. And what is that, um, 243, what is that all about, if you know that my, email? My documentation, um, basically my interpretation of what I saw on the video and I quoted some things that Charlotte said in the video. Objection hearsay. Ronald uh, said, yeah, well, I'll accept she was shown a video. Yeah. You can't tell me what the video said. Well, I have it's an excited video. utterance, present sense impression. I could go on. No, it's not. Yeah. The reason why is she just mentioned, she just said that she just said in response to the video, the date for that was September 21st, that is on date number This is the child saying things on the video? It's um, 243. Yes. And, and, Your Honor, what my objection is, is she just... I was going to let the email portion of it, and then you said there was an attachment of a video? Yeah, yeah but the, it's it's a, um, it's not an attachment, it's a, the, like a, a snapshot of uh, Skype's as opposed to the actual video. Um, do you have the originals? Because these are photos are illegible. Absolutely illegible. Do you have the color photos of 240, 241, those two pages? I think those were submitted to the court, Your Honor. Okay, do you know which Bates number they're submitted under? Um, There's another version of them. Is it in digital format? Likely in the digital and format. Second of all, you want to get these photos in, so who took the photos? Okay, I thought they were emails. Now you're talking about the photos. Yeah, yeah. And, and you have a renewed objection to the photos? Yes, sure. Kelly Campbell didn't take the photo, so you have to get the person that took the photos verify. They're actually Skypes between the parties, so it's like a kind of like a introductory page to a book. It's not the actual Skype. It's just the. Did you um, raise objections to authenticity or not in the beginning? Your Honor. Authentication. No. So okay. it's not about authentication. Well, it's about photos of a child and who took the. Photos. They're black and white at best. I can't hardly see. I, I looks like that could be a cell phone. It could be a couch. Other than that, I really can't see what's in there. It looks like there is. Uh, I'm with you. I can't even okay, see well, those photos. We have the disc of the Skype that we can get in through Christina. So I'm just, for informational purposes, asking what Ms. Campbell relied upon. 
You know what? Might have to reverse that until Mom gets on the stand to verify she took the photos. Unless you have any objection, she what she's offering it to I just asked show her, what yeah, the child's what, demeanor. What she relied upon, and she's testifying that she it's saw. It's not a statement. It's the child's demeanor during a Skype call. Supposedly, I guess. Correct, and I can always get it in through the plaintiff. She can testify as to what she, what video she took the Skype. He was part of that, and what she provided, what specifically she provided to Ms. Campbell, I can certainly do that, and we can play them for the court. I believe, actually, some of these are duplicative between the parties as well. Uh, so The problem with authentication when it comes to the, uh, the photos, Your Honor, is I didn't know what, for what purpose they were going to be used. Yes, mm -hmm. it looks like an authentic photo, probably taken by somebody who's going to authenticate. You know, at this point right now, I'd reject them because they're just illegible. Grainy, yeah. grainy. Okay, so that would only be page make. two. So you have to come back on another day and show me the original okay. photos in color, preferably, and sure. blown up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's only about this big, so. 240, 241, and I can elicit testimony from the plaintiff okay. as far as Okay, um, don't admit 40, 41 until they come in with the color originals and the photos enlarged. Yeah, don't admit that in there. Um, right now, I'll accept that her and Mom, Miss Campbell and Mom, talked about a Skype video, and Mom presented a video without saying what was said on the video. Um, the uh, Miss Campbell looked at the photos. You looked at something that she sent you by email. Photos and audio attached. Okay, at least there was audio. Yeah. Do you have the audio also, Miss Mark? I do. Yeah. That would help be helpful. But sure. it's the child though and dad? The child and, and the father, correct. Well, you don't have an issue with child hearsay. And again I I would I would um, state for purposes of the record that there's our present and present sense impression. Unpresent or, sense impression. Right. Or excited utterance. The if child you intend to bring excited. that if you tend to bring that audio in, be prepared to brief that okay. by the time. Your Honor, mm -hmm. we actually have the video from that, as well as all of every single Skype did the call mm -hmm. since the last my client's last visitation. Yeah. So we actually have this video. It's okay. actually we've actually disclosed it as well. And, so you, know, you have no objection to we'll the just video? Play it up. Huh? We'll just play it. We'll just play it. I, you know, Your Honor. Okay. We're, we're all about the, the truth. Of Absolutely. If we can get Absolutely. the best evidence in, let's do that. Um, so. Well, I can't tell Miss Mar how to do her case, but when do you want to play the video? I was going to play the videos through um, the plaintiff. Through the plaintiff, Mom? Yeah. So she wants to wait. So she'll wait. Yeah. But if you don't have any objection to it, since you both have the same videos, we'll let, we can admit the, the video. Is it a particular exhibit number? The video? Your... Um. Digital evidence. Those are we have several. Yeah, exhibit number three. That's what you. An exhibit list. Then that's Erica's issue. You gotta go call Erica. She didn't leave you. I'm like, exhibit no, list. I'm no, I got the exhibit list, but I'm missing like I got five, but it's like. I don't know no, it's like that. So it's not any exhibit exhibit three. Three. Yeah. Oh, so would you say exhibit three? Three. Is it digital? Three, defense yeah. exhibit. Z. So Z. you're and, and probably and looking for a digital, like flash drive? I have a flash drive. Yeah. What is it? Z. Z. Oh, there it is. Oh, the phone. Okay. That's fine. You can leave it attached to there, though, so you don't lose it. They're going to stipulate the three. Yeah, that, this three. is the thing that put That's yeah. what I'm saying. This is the thing that put it back. And we don't have it. That's okay, we don't have your digital, the same video. You should I, have. We found a flash drive on defendant's book. I, we submitted the flash drive to the court okay. weeks ago. We'll tell Erica to help you. Is that, a, is yeah. that plaintiff or defendant? This is plaintiff. No, oh, this is defendant. That's defendant, so that's, that's defendant. We got theirs. His plaintiff book and his plaintiff book. But I don't think. And that's the 
Well, I'm not saying. I don't know. Erica is not here today, so. Um, call Erica. Call Erica. Is she even here or is she on the machine? She's off today. Okay. So, we'll try and locate it later. If you want to get us some help. Okay. We'll, Sharon, I, I I'm mean, sorry, but let's find out from Erica what she did with it okay. first. Okay. Well, at least we have an extra set. She may have a secret place for it, Your Honor. So it's defendants what letter? Z. Z. Parties stipulate to exhibits 3 and Z. Uh, digital Skype videos, right? And audios. Correct. Yes. Thank you. And they're identical? Your exhibits are identical? Yes. Uh, I, I'm assuming, Your Honor, I, I didn't know. Okay. The word on the street is that Mr. Jacks put commercials in his, <laughs> for his law firm. Um, okay, <laughs> list it out and for me, how many, how many videos and audios you got. I want to match the two, so it's identical. I don't, um, I don't but anyway, both of them are coming in to okay. evidence. Um, and we're still trying to look for your three. Yes. On that 239 through 2. 40 and 41 are not admitted yet because we need better copies That's of the photos. The but the other ones 39 is in. I have 18 videos. Um, 42. Did I say 42 was in? 242? Yes. And 43 is in. So 40 and 41 is not in until I get the better photos. And Mr. Jax, you have 18 videos? Yes, Your Honor. Z has 18 videos. We actually, I mean, truthfully, we have probably more than 100, but I only took the ones after the last visitation because that's an alleged incident. Okay. Whatever, Do so. you have their Exhibit 3? I don't know. I don't. Let's Should make we, sure you have that. Do we have their Exhibit 3? I didn't yes. see it. I didn't. It was delivered. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't do anything. That's what it was. Okay. It should be. Now, did you use flash drive or DVD? We used a flash drive. They use flash drive. The funny thing right there, but I'm okay. Do we have it? I do have My, she says we have it. But it's on digital. How do they have it? Yeah. Yeah. We don't physically have it with okay. us. She says it's at our office. Oh, it's at your office. Okay. Um, but we're looking for ours, so. Okay, if you need another one. Yeah, need another for one. the next time is oh, fine. Absolutely, I'll be happy to provide that. Okay. I apologize, Ms. Campbell. It's, um, it's okay. I'm told we, we have, have so detail-oriented. 500 videos. There's a bunch. Um, yeah. On yours? Yes. But yeah. we only have 38. Yeah, oh, you put so 38? That's the good news. I, I think both parties probably recorded both uh, of every single Skype visitation back and forth going back to the wedding. Good. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we can go clear to the beginning if you want to, Your Honor, but... That would be 1,200 we, and we, we only limited ours mm -hmm. to... That's what you're last. supposed to pick, oh. the lawyers are supposed to pick which videos. You have, he has 18, you have 38? 30, about 38. And they run about a couple minutes apiece? Um, some of them run a couple of hours. Couple hours? Yes, Your Honor. Don't don't get me wrong. Uh, no, I'm not surprised because sometimes they a visitation. Sometimes the child would be moody, like this one, mm. extremely moody. Did not want to talk. I'm hanging up all over it. Mm -hmm. Other times, other sure. times we'll want to just sit there and talk with for an hour. Spend an hour talking to Dad and playing with him as best you can and oh, okay. stuff like that. And it, it's I mean. I, took, I have my notes from all of you know good visitation, bad visitation. But. What would help the court is, I mean, if you could play it from beginning to end, but that's going to be pretty lengthy. But if you mark on the video and tell me, you know, what highlights, then you guys will just play those segments on the court video. Absolutely, and maybe and maybe I can confer with Mr. Jacks because I, you know, sometimes I don't want to take things out of context. Like if the child's having a meltdown. And, um, you want to see that what happened before and absolutely, what happened after. Absolutely, absolutely. Without commercials. Right, okay. Well, we'll do the best we can when we get there. When okay. we cross that road. Thank you, Anna. Okay, let's uh, finish up with Miss Campbell um, so that we can get to her cross exam. You said you have Grandma here, too? I do. Internal. Now, is she able to come back another day if she needs to? She can, uh, she can come back another Good. day. Good. Okay. She so, but we want to make sure, we probably want to finish up with Ms. Campbell today. I do. Um, okay. 
so next question. Um, I'd like you to turn to page uh, Bait Stamp 244. Do you recognize this document? Yes. Because oh. 244 to 245, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And what is this document? It's a documentation of a session with Charlotte. Okay. And what's the date on that document? September 27th. What year? Uh, 2018. Okay. And did you author this report? Yes. Okay. Would you call it a report? What do you call it? Follow-up session documentation. Okay. Okay. And what happened during this um, interview? Or this session, rather? I met with Mom and Charlotte together at first. Um, I'm going to stop you right there. Yes. Uh, did, uh, was mom, the plaintiff, was she um, influencing? Objection, Your Honor, meeting. Did she influence the child in Again, any way, shape, or form? Again, objection, meeting. Sustained. Okay. Did mom say things in front of the child? No. Again, objection, meeting. Um, Your Honor, this is kind of like Jeopardy. She she states the answer that she wants to hear. Then I yes, say but objection given the nature of that last question. question, I don't think it's leading. It's um, inviting something open ended. So we'll just get a yes or no first on something. Did Mom say something in front Did of the child? Mom say anything? In Never. Front? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. No. Okay. All right. Do you take? Um, is it your policy? Is that a? a Standard policy to allow uh, objection parent? leading. It's a yes or no question. It's Sustained. Right. Okay. Who, what, where, when, why? So. Is it a policy? To uh, well, sustained. Yes, you can't answer sustained. until she asked okay. the question properly. Why? Why was mom with um, with the child? I always start with the parent and child together, okay. and then the parent leaves. Okay. How long do you spend with the parent and the child? Depends on the particular case. Um, with this one, maybe 20 minutes. Okay. What is your protocol? Generally, I will pull out some toys, and Charlotte will play, and Christina will hand me a paper, and I'll read what she's written about her concerns. I might have a question, and I'll write it down and hand it back to her, so Charlotte never hears anything that Mom and I talk about. Then I asked mom to leave, and I worked directly with the patient. Okay. So is who is the patient in this instance? Charlotte. Okay. So um, what was your assessment on this particular date? Um, that dad sexually molested Charlotte. Okay. How did you reach that conclusion? The patient told me she, that she was molested by her father. Objection. Okay. Motion to strike. Sustained. Granted. And, uh, uh, Your Honor, I would, again, for purposes of the record, I would state that there's a hearsay objection to anything that the child blurted out or told her therapist as a excited utterance or present sense impression of what had occurred to her during her visitation with Dad. Okay, um, noted, Thank and you made that objection on Thank the record. Um, the ruling still stands okay. on here, saying. Um, did Charlotte draw pictures during that visitation? Yes. Okay. And that was on the 27th? Yes. To page 246, bait stamp behind that. Is that the picture that Charlotte drew? I drew the body, and I gave Charlotte a marker. Mm -hmm. And I asked Charlotte, color where daddy's touched you. And she colored the private areas. He said he touches me here. Objection. Reading. I didn't have a 
question. She made a statement. Just, yeah. Did you mean the motion, motion, motion to strike? Motion to strike it. Okay, what's the basis for the motion to strike? It's your state, Your Honor. And I would have the same. Sustained. For the uh, same. Go ahead, make. You made your record. Okay. Thank okay. you, Your Honor. And, and, Your Honor, just, and I'll brief that for the court also. Um, I would have the same. Um, the same response for anything that the child uttered or had told her therapist that if there are exceptions to the hearsay rule. And again, I'll, bring, I'll provide the court with Maybe the child. you can find some Nevada case law. Absolutely. California, probably. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Thank you. I appreciate that, Your Honor. Okay. I would move to admit exhibit or bait stamp 246. I object to it, Your Honor, based on the fact that it's hearsay. And also, there's an exception when a patient makes a statement for the purposes of medical treatment. But absolutely. we're talking about a very young child. Took the, the words cartoon, right out of my mouth. Cartoon. The photo possibly could serve as a statement made for purposes of medical treatment. Because you, you know, what you learn in law school is like my arm hurts, you know, and all that. Um, that question was asked of the child, and the child drew instead of making statement but the picture itself is also a statement it's the purpose of medical treatment therapy is the treatment of the child no she's if, licensed if, your honor if it was a single if it was a single treatment I, I hurt my arm as in a doctor um, my elbow hurts my knee hurts that is a one statement for a thing. This is a continuing and examination. They went from one to the next to the next, with lots and lots of hearsay being thrown in on it. On top of the, the talking to mom, mom being able to coach it and be able to condition the child to be able to give responses without the child even knowing about it. Your Honor, this is completely nothing but hearsay, and it should not be done because of that. It's not like a specific, my arm hurts. No, this is just, are you, are you doing therapy or are you doing an evaluation? If you're doing an evaluation, are you doing it pursuant to our Nevada rules as, as required to be able to be admissible into a courtroom? Um, and and from, I'm pretty sure she didn't. She didn't videotape it. She didn't write down her questions. And like I said, it's there. It's, okay. It's so um, number one, no, I'm, I'm already rolling it. Number one, um, in terms of seeking out the therapy, not for litigation purposes, I don't find that mom sought out the therapy. For litigation purposes would mean Ms. Campbell wouldn't be able to testify at all, obviously, but she's a treating therapist. Number two, um, people give um, historical is the, I could be wrong, but say if they're making like a statement like my elbow hurts and my arm hurts, um, do they have to be real time contemporaneous or talk about historical stuff as contained in this photo, historical, not non-contemporaneous stuff. For now, I'm going to um, overrule I'm going to allow that statement slash drawing of the child to um, come in as statement based on for medical treatment. Feel free to brief that and um, we can, you can submit it for oral argument, quick oral arguments and then submit to me case law on that sure. if there's any precedent on a drawing of a child. You have five other cases where um, those type of situations they're let in. Absolutely. For now, I'm gonna issue. I'm going to um, allow that to come in. Okay. Uh, did you have any more questions on it? Because Mr. Jacks will probably want to argue it at the next court date. So well, if you want to pause there, I'm not. Um, but then I know you want to get to her cross examination. Right. I, I was just going to note for the record that there's absolutely been no evidence whatsoever coaching by mom as a matter of fact to the contrary we heard nicholas ponzo say i'm um, just concerned about availability for trial so let's say you guys want to argue that th things come up in trial and the attorneys have to go research things um pursuant to ruling because it's critical whether an evidence comes in or not and i'll um i'll tell you what i i have my ruling right now is to let that in and i guess Sure, if you want to ask her questions on it and then move on to something else, sure. that's fine. If you file any case law and you are able to persuade the court that that is not a statement made for medical purposes, because I'm explaining why I'm letting that in, statement made for medical purposes um, in the context of a child, etc., then I can, you can move to strike and then I can't rely on it in my decision or can't rely on the, the um, drawing. 
so when I write my decision, I can only support my things with findings that are into evidence. But for now, I'll let it in. If you find contrary case law, then um, you can make that oral motion to strike. And then I would have to go de delete it out of my notes. I appreciate that, and I would submit that there are. Okay. Do you have any quick any. questions, Ms. Campbell, on that photo, or are you already established I, that? I do. Okay. I do. Um, and I, I just want to make sure um, what specifically did you, I mean, can you tell me where the child colored in this, in this photograph? In the vagina area. Okay. And on the foot. Okay. Did you find that odd? Yes. Did you ask any um, any further questions after this picture was colored in? Yes. Okay. And what sort of questions did you ask as part of your therapy for the child? Daddy touched you in the privates. Objection, Your Honor. Motion to strike. It's hearsay. Just asking what question she Overruled. Asked. She's the declarant hearsay. Uh, I'm sorry. She is non hearsay. She is the declarant subject to cross exam. And this is what she said to the child. What question right. to ask? What other questions did you ask Charlotte? I looked at the photo and I said, You're telling me that your dad touched you in your privates? And she said, Yes. Okay. Um, Do you have any sort of, um, like, strike that, do you, do you, do you believe that the child understands what privates are? Objection, you're on a reading. Can you rephrase that sustained? Sure. Um, do you, do you believe that Charlotte Understood your question? Objection yes. leading. Sustained, that would be leading. Do you, are you comfortable with your diagnosis? Yes. Okay, why so? On this visit, why so? The patient made it very clear that she had been sexually molested by her father. There's very, very evident. Okay. Was that, it, it was your um, assessment or diagnosis rather, was that based upon just this picture? Objection leading. Sustained, you might rephrase What's that. your assessment based upon? An assessment doesn't just start with the initial, it goes on. And as I stated in the last time I was here, originally it was an adjustment disorder. Then I continue to assess her behaviors and I change the diagnosis to anxiety disorder unspecified. Then as she continued to progress, regress rather, and display symptoms, I change the diagnosis to other specified trauma, kind of like a PTSD for kids, for lack of better words. So the assessment process, it, ha it takes time. How much time? Depends on the case, you know. With Charlotte, it took a while to figure out what was really going on. Why? Because she continued to regress and regress and regress, and so my assessment would continue to change and change and change. Okay. Um, when you say regress, what, what do you mean regress? The child was formerly potty trained. Then she starts to wet herself. Objection. You're sick. She never witnessed any of that. Um, sustained. What other, um, that you're aware of, or, did, should Charlotte ever have a, um, um, incident while at your office? Yes. Okay. What, describe that incident. We were playing, and I was utilizing sand tray therapy, which is a very simple way for a child to be able to put Objection foundation your honor I'd like to know when this was and so I can look at the report just at least what session the date of the session Ms. Campbell this one. you can take a second there to look and find it in your notes the same was the sand plate therapy session 
Yeah, it's in Sand and clay. There should be a picture of it. Yeah, oh, no. We take a quick two minute break and then give her time to find that as well. I'm checking on it. Emergencies upstairs.
initiation. No, I know, but I want to see proof that we don't have um, initiated it either. Because if we have a bunch right before it, set by her with me that she's replying to, you know? I'll just 